Hello everyone. Today I will discuss uh, assignment six solution for the course introduction to soft computing. In this assignment, question one, four, five are a little bit tricky, so we have to take care. Question one. Uh, in this question, there are two objective function f1 and f2. Uh, f1 we have to maximize and f2 we have to minimize. So this is the f2 that we have to minimize and this is the f1 function we have to maximize. So there are total four statement and we have to identify <coughs> which statement is wrong. Solution 3 dominate solution 1. <coughs> so solution this is the solution 3 and this is solution 1. So this is the correct statement. Solution 2 is dominated by all other solution. Uh, solution 2 is located at this portion and uh, rest of the solution lie below. So this solution is also true. Solution 5 dominate solution 3. Solution 5 dominate solution 3. So this is not the correct answer because 3 and 5 lie on the same line. Lie on the same line. Therefore they can't dominate each other. Therefore the wrong statement is option C. And last statement solution 1 and solution 4 do not dominate one another absolutely correct statement 1 and 4 lie on the same line therefore they can't dominate each other and this is the validation for question 1 1 and 4 lie on the same line therefore can't dominate and 3 and 5 lie on the same line therefore can't dominate but in the option uh, it is mentioned that 3 dominating 5 so that was the incorrect question number 2 which of the following technique to solve move follow multiple objective optimization problem dominance based ranking followed by the fitness averaging okay so in this technique dominance based ranking followed by fitness average so MOGA is the technique which use these two concepts so option a is the correct one and the validation for the question is uh, regarding the generation and selection of the Pareto optimal set ordering and scaling techniques are used for ordering dominance based ranking and for scaling linearized fitness assignment or fitness averaging is used so this is the validation Question number three, which of the following statement is not correct? Which of the following statement is not correct for vector evaluated genetic algorithm? <clears throat> so Vega can be implemented in the same framework as simple genetic algorithm. This is the correct statement. <clears throat> Vega leads to solution close to local optima with regard to each individual objective function. This is valid statement. Now, Vega generates solutions that are necessary both locally and globally non-dominated. Okay, so this is the uh, incorrect statement. Okay, therefore, correct answer is option C. Vega select the individual which excel in one subjective and without looking at the other individual. So, just uh, we are. I am going to validate this. So, see the statement. C option C uh, solution that are necessary both locally and globally non dominating okay so this is the validation Vega can be implemented in the same framework as simple okay correct Vega leads to a solution close to local optimum correct the solution generated by Vega are locally non dominated but not necessarily globally dominated therefore this is the correct statement but in the given question it is <clears throat> little bit change this is so because Vega select individual uh, who excel in objective function with the at other therefore this is also the correct statement so only uh, in this statement there is a little bit change question number four so a three objective optimizations are sold using a MOE algorithm and a few objective vectors are listed below so assume all objectives are to be minimized so give me the correct statement 3 5 10 5 3 10 and 3 5 10 and this one which of the following is true <coughs> all are non dominating solution this is the only option which is true and the rest three options are <coughs> invalid okay uh, 3 5 10 all these are non-dominating <coughs> and this 
the validation for this question and it is very uh, healthy validation so to understand this we have to understand the concept of Pareto optimal solution and after that we can <coughs> analyze this but 100% this is the correct one question number 5 C1 and C2 are two offspring chromosome the according to NPGA C1 will be preferable to be selected for the mating pool <coughs> these are the option now C1 is niche count is higher than that of C2 and uh, in this uh, count equal and this is the lower count so correct option is C and uh, for this validation I, I am going to give you the last year uh, problem uh, which is uh, which is being asked in the uh, question so C1 and same question and uh, accepted answer is C that is C1's niche count is lower than that C2 so this is the validation and, uh, and this is also from the slide niche count n1 n2 then whose will be the winner <coughs> okay so this is the correct explanation a solution space for two objectives uh, optimization problem is shown in the graph the Pareto optimal front in this regard given by <coughs> so in this there are two function f1 and f2 and both the function we have to minimize so if we want to minimize uh, for both the function then Pareto optimal solution will be cd will be cd right <coughs> so correct option is option b that is cd and this is the validation there are four types of uh, Pareto optimal front minimize minimize so in the minimize case we have to consider this one right and when f1 is minimized and f2 is maximized then we have to consider this front right and f2 minimize and f2 uh, f2 minimize and f1 maximize then we have to uh, uh, consider this front <coughs> and when both the functions uh, uh, to be maximized then we have to consider this front therefore as per this uh, representation um, correct answer is and correct op Pareto optimal solution is front CD <coughs> question 7 in MOGA approach <coughs> multi objective genetic algorithm approach if one individual solution XI is dominated by PI individual solution in the current generation then rank of xi uh, direct question rank of xi will be 1 plus pi okay so therefore correct option is d this is the validation uh, if an individual xi is dominated by pi individual in a current generation then the rank xi will be given by 1 plus pi question number 8 a prior high level information that is required in lexicographic ordering is okay uh, the scalar weights of each individual functions objective function wrong statement the descending order of the rank of the importance of the objective this is the correct statement <coughs> and I will validate this one independent of this so the rest of these options are wrong invalid so therefore correct option is option C okay descending order uh, I am highlighting descending order and this is the validation in this validation uh, lexicographic ordering method now f1 f2 f3 fk these are uh, arranged in descending order out of them f1 f1 ha having the highest priority okay and f2 it uh, the symbol significant that it doesn't mean that fk it will be the higher priority but uh, as per this uh, lexicographic ordering method first we have to go for the function f1 therefore f1 having the highest priority and after that uh, it is it is in decreasing order therefore fi fi implies that fi is the higher importance than fj okay so therefore in lexicographic ordering method it will be always in decreasing order in a single objective evolutionary algorithm to solve MOOP uh, we have to identify the which statement is correct all the objective functions are added together using different 
weighing coefficient or each objective so in this the word matter different of okay and therefore this one is the correct option and when we will see the uh, option C here we are saying using same weighing coefficient so this is invalid this is invalid and in the same way each of them multiplied so there's no provisional multiply multiply so both these options are also incorrect therefore option A is the correct one and uh, this is the validation for this this method consists of all adding all the objective function together using <coughs> different weighing coefficients for each objective right so this is the correct option question number 10 which of the following techniques suffer from the spatial problem so out of this uh, the vega is that one which suffer from the spatial problem and this is the validation uh, spatial problem in vega it involved the evolution of species within the population okay which excel on different objective so this is the correct one and thank you so much and in assignment 5 accuracy was 100% and uh, I hope so uh, in assignment 6 also accuracy will be 100% thank you so much and if there is any doubt uh, please comment and uh, if there is any ambiguity in the solution um, please comment so that we can update and submit the um, correct solution for NPTEL courses thank you so much